So this week we're talking about the benefits that accrue to the believer at death because of what Christ has done. And we need to realize those benefits are greater than anything we could imagine. People today like to talk about bucket lists, and there's nothing wrong with having bucket lists. But what we need to realize is this life is an opportunity for us to sacrifice what other people might find critically important as far as a bucket list item. Because we have waiting for us in Christ something that would be number one in every person's bucket list who's ever lived if we were able to perceive the blessings that will come to us when we go to sleep. Paul understood this. He said, for to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. And he says, I'm so hard pressed, I don't know what to choose. To be with the Lord is so much better, but to remain on means fruitful labor on your behalf. There's a joke that we all share together, but sometimes it's actually serious. And uh, you, you ask people how they're doing, and sometimes they'll respond, well, it's better than the alternative, meaning it's better being alive, even if I'm miserable, than being dead. And I hope we recognize that that is just sort of a joke, because if we know Jesus Christ, nothing could be further from the truth to depart and be with the Lord is such a better alternative. These few years we spend on this fallen planet, they're nothing compared to the true eternal life we're going to experience in the new Jerusalem. So might our minds and hearts be filled with thoughts of eternity? Not that we would be so heavenly minded that we wouldn't be any earthly good, but we would be so heavenly minded that we would realize the only reason God is preventing us right now from entering into the greatest blessing of our lives through death, through falling asleep, is because he has fruitful labor for us here. And we have so much to look forward to by being in Christ, in heaven forever.